Hey there, welcome back to the channel. So today I figured it would be a very swell time to share my camera collection with all of you for 2022. So the way that I'm gonna do this today is I'm just gonna go from uh, biggest to smallest all in a row. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so starting off, we are looking at the Canon XL1. Now this is uh, the biggest camera that I own. It's probably one of the biggest cameras that Canon has probably ever made in my opinion. The XL2 might be bigger, but this camera is manufactured in 1997 and it is, well, it was, uh, at that time, Canon's uh, top of the line, one of their, it was their best camera you could get. And I believe it came out um, costing around $6,000, which is crazy in uh, today's world, looking at this thing and seeing that it was $6,000. But I think I picked it up from a guy and uh, I think he used it for filming weddings. This camera actually looks really, really good on video. This camera takes mini DV tapes and the zoom is a 16 times zoom on it and you can actually take the lens off. So it's kind of like a modern DSLR. And this camcorder does not have a screen on it. You just have a viewfinder. You can hold it like this in film or you can unfold this and you can put it on your shoulder and make it look like you're on a, uh, you're a newscast filmer. Next up, I have, well, currently as of recording this video, I have two Canon GL1s. Now, I do believe that these cameras were manufactured in the year 2000, um, so right at the turn of the old century. These cameras are actually really cool. I have one of them for sale on my eBay page if you wanna take a peek at that, if they haven't already been sold by the time this video has been uh, uploaded. They have a 58 millimeter um, lens thread on them. Um, the Canon XL1 actually had a 72, so it had a huge old lens on it. Um, it has a 18 times optical zoom and a 100 times digital zoom on it. Kind of like with the Canon XL1, you can hold it like this and record, or you can hold it handheld like this. Uh, it doesn't have a shoulder strap, obviously, because it's a lot smaller of a video camera. These cameras are also both mini DV camcorders. So they take mini DV tapes. Um, these ones do have a flip out LCD screen and they have a viewfinder, has a focus ring on it and it is one of their prosumer cameras, I guess you could say. It's right in between the professional and the consumer style, it's prosumer. Probably one of my favorite cameras that I currently own. Next up, we're going back a little bit farther in time. So I actually recently just made a video on this, so I will leave a link in the cards above if you want to check out uh, the video on this camera. So this is the JVC GR-AX46, or as I call it, the Grex 46. Now this camcorder is from 1997. It takes VHS-C tapes. This one has a 46 millimeter lens thread on it. It has a mono microphone, a lens hood, um, this one does not have a flip out LCD and pull the viewfinder out and film with it that way. Not really much to talk about on this. Still a very fun camera to film with and make videos with. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that it has a colored viewfinder on it. Okay, so it looks like I am holding pretty much the exact same camera and I pretty much am holding the exact same camera. So this is the JVC GR-AX-M50. Now, I'm assuming that this is a, this is the, a, a better model of the Grax 46. So the main differences between this one and the Grax 46 is you are able to plug in an external mic on it on the front here. Um, it has a night light on it. So if you're in uh, dark situations or um, if you need better lighting, you can actually turn that on and it still turns on. This one also has a 46 millimeter lens thread on it. So same size lens. The other camera had a 18 times optical zoom and this one has a 36. This one has your playback functions on the top here and has some other stuff. Um, it has some edit functions and stuff on in this little uh, door compartment here. This one actually has stabilization on it. You can turn it on and off. And this one actually has a flip out LCD screen with a speaker so you can hear back your uh, audio on the uh, the playback. This one also takes VHS-C tapes. Really the uh, the quality of the, the video really isn't any different than the other 
camcorder that I just talked about. And they both have a uh, mono audio. It was one of the very first ones that I actually ever picked up at a thrift store. I know it's not really worth anything, but it's just, uh, it's a little nostalgic to me. All right, so now we are jumping way into the future. We are talking about the Canon SL3. So this is actually my newest camera that I own. I don't really exactly remember when this came out. I want to say it was either 2019 or 2020. Um, so this is uh, Canon's smallest DSLR camera that they produce at the moment, I believe. Most of their DSLRs come with a 18 to 55 kit lens. What's really cool about it is it has uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built into it. So kind of like how GoPros work. You can actually connect it to your phone and uh, use your phone as a monitor and control it from your phone. And you can also transfer pictures and footage um, from the camera to your phone and uh, use it for social media and all that. Yeah, this is generally the one that I'd use filming with this. And me and my wife have another YouTube channel that we post um, travel videos and like camping videos and stuff like that on. It has a flip out screen on it. It flips all the way around and all that. And it's also touch screen. Uh, this thing actually has a really good battery life on it as well. I actually really enjoy using it. <coughs> Alright, so I'm now filming on the Canon SL3. Uh, the reason why I switched is because uh, I was filming with this camera and so I had to showcase this one as well. So this is the Canon M50. Now this camera I believe came out in 2018. Um, they do have a Mark II version of it, uh, but I got this in, well this is actually my wife's camera, but uh, we got it in uh, 2019. And uh, it's probably one of my favorite cameras um, of the modern cameras that I've owned. Uh, I just really like how small it is and I really like the, uh, the picture quality on it because it can film in 4K and I think it was Canon's first, or at least one of their first mirrorless cameras that they made or still make. Um, it's one of the smallest cameras that they make as well of, of this DSLR size. Um, and what's really cool about it that is different than the uh, Canon SL3 is the Canon SL3 when you're recording video, you can only see video on the LCD screen. And with this one, if you put your eye up to it, it has a digital viewfinder on it. So you can actually record through the viewfinder along with the uh, flip out screen. I would say the biggest downside of it though is the, uh, the battery life. It doesn't last very long. I know a lot of people complain about that about it. So generally you gotta buy some extra batteries and I actually have not done that yet. This one also has a flip out LCD screen and uh, flips around all the way and is also touch screen. All right, and if you wanna find a review on this camera, you're gonna to have to really dig deep on the uh, the channel. Probably one of my earlier videos, and it's probably not a very good video that I made because I was very uh, awkward on camera and nervous. <laughs> so uh, this is, what? I don't even remember what this is. I don't use this camera very often. This is the Panasonic VDR-D230. This camera is from 2001, and it takes a, uh, a mini DVD for the uh, memory card, SD card, tape, uh, the, the memory device. If anybody remembers playing GameCube, um, it's pretty much the exact same size disc. A lot of these cameras are really weird looking in my opinion. My wife's uncle died um, in 2014 due to uh, cystic fibrosis. And this was his uh, video camera that he used uh, to go out on uh, vacations and all that with. His uh, his wife is actually, uh, she, she gave this to me because she knew that I was into uh, old video cameras and stuff. I don't ever plan to sell this. It's in really good shape. He took really good care of it. He's got a lot of uh, accessories with it. So it has a 32 optical zoom and the lens thread size is a 37. It does have a flip out LCD screen, but this thing actually has a pretty big menu on it, if I remember right. And it actually has a little viewfinder that pulls out right here as well. And it has a cold shoe, but because of the CD, CD-ROM, CD, CD player, um, it's really hard to get anything to uh, mount on it without hitting the side of the CD player. It does take pictures, um, it's not the best pictures, and it doesn't actually have um, a big memory on it for uh, 
for video. Now, I actually have not made a video on this camera yet. Um, I'm waiting for the charger to come in for it. So I bought this off of Macari. The person that sold it was saying that it works great and it's in new condition. All the pictures and stuff showed like the screen and everything that was, uh, it was on and all that. Well, I buy it and they send it to me and they decided they wanted to keep the, uh, the charger for themselves. So I messaged them and they said that they'll just send out the charger if I need it. And I said, well, yeah, I don't really want to buy a new charger if I don't have to. So I'm waiting, waiting for that to come in. And this is the JVC GR-DA30U. And this camera is from 2007, I believe, kind of towards the end of the era of mini DV tape camcorders. And yes, this does take a mini DV tape and What's really, really unique about it is it has a screen on the back of it and it slides up and it slides down. The battery is actually where generally the, uh, the screens are and so that's actually right there. It has a 30 times optical zoom and I believe it has a 27 millimeter lens threads on it. And it has a 800 times digital zoom. Well, that's Pretty much all I can really tell you for it right now. Like I said, I don't have a way to charge it yet and I'm waiting for the charger. Look out for the review in the near future for this. So I actually forgot about this because it was stored away in my uh, camera backpack. But I also have a DJI Mavic Mini. This is my second one I have had of this drone. Um, my first one I wrecked and it got water damage in the snow. Long story short, I was flying it down in a cave. A huge uh, snow owl came out of the out of the rocks in the cave and uh, performed some weird bad juju towards it and uh, this thing just started to fly towards the rocks uncontrollably and crashed into the rocks and landed in the snow and had to crawl down into the cave and uh, rescue the drone and by that time it already had water damage from sitting in the snow for so long. So this is my second one. These things if you've never had a drone that can record video they're the funnest things to fly. Um, I'm not a professional at flying these by any means but if you want to get like really fun cinematic shots and stuff uh, this is a great camera to uh, to do that with and I say camera because it takes videos and pictures it's a flying camera a fun budget drone and the battery lasts like a half an hour on it I guess for these newer camcorders uh, I'll leave some Amazon links if you want to snag one for yourself like the Canon M50 Canon SL3 and the uh, DJI Mavic Mini and I have one more that I will be talking about the smallest camera that I own is the GoPro Hero 9 now I'm pretty sure everybody out there has probably at one point tried a GoPro pretty much anything before the uh, the GoPro Hero 7 is hot garbage but if you get a 7 8 9 or a 10 or I think they're called like the the max the GoPro max or whatever they're the ones that have like the 3d they can film like all around and like a 360 degree motion, those ones look good too. They're a little bit big. And these things are pretty fun to film with too because you can really get unique shots with them. Like you can attach them to literally anywhere that you can think of. They're good for vlogging. They're good for uh, doing outdoor activities like hiking and camping. And um, I do kayaking with it. Uh, it's waterproof. It's super strong so you could like probably throw it through the wall and it'll still work. <laughs> um, they're meant to take a beating and they have uh, replacement parts for it um, if you do break pieces and parts of it. And GoPro makes a very wide variety of attachments for you to uh, put it on things and yourself. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to grab yourself a GoPro Hero 9. So that's pretty much uh, the, the camera collection. I, I could probably rummage through other things that take video so there's there's quite a bit of them um, a couple of them are for sale on my eBay store so I'll leave a link to my eBay store and you can check out what I have for sale on there yeah let me know what one is your favorite do you own any of these cameras or similar versions of any of these cameras I'd like to know if you enjoyed this video make sure you like it I will see you in the next video you have a good one